everyone welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video today it's this all about facial serum I'm gonna make this awesome facial serum that you can whip up in your home for yourself it is all natural and I'm using ingredient that is loaded with vitamins and minerals vitamins such as vitamin A and vitamin C now why am I using these ingredients these ingredients are known to boost the collagen production in the skin now what is collagen collagen is actually a form of protein that help to boost the skin texture and firmness so when your skin start to lose the collagen it means that the collagen production has slowed down and therefore you're gonna find yourself looking wrinkles and after wrinkles come sagging skin now what can you do you can use this serum on the outside you can use this serum to help to boost the collagen to help to build back that strong elastic city in the skin tightening the skin firm in the skin and you can also find collagen in fruits and vegetables such as carrots and also green leafy vegetable so load up on your collagen internally and also load up on your collagen externally this is exactly what this facial serum is gonna do for you it's gonna boost the collagen production um, externally so if you're interested in today's video continue watching our first ingredient is rice and rice has been used on the skin for centuries for tightening and toning and firming the skin and also for a great skin texture now this is cooked rice and to cook the rice is pretty easy you just want to add a half a cup of rice to a cup and a half of water cook it down and for about 20 minutes or so and then it will be good to go our second ingredient is avocado oil and I'm using avocado oil in this recipe because avocado oil contains vitamins such as vitamin A, vitamin D and vitamin E. It also has omega-3 fatty acid. Now avocado oil can moisturize and nourish the skin. It relieves inflammation and psoriasis. Also it is great for eczema. It helps to treat acne. It also accelerates wound healing. Avocado oil also reduces the sign of aging. It treats sunburn. It's basically an overall oil to use on the skin our next ingredient is almond oil and this is another wonderful oil for aging skin as it contains vitamin A vitamin B and vitamin E it also contain essential fatty acid it will nourish the skin moisturize the skin it will help to boost the collagen production making almond oil another wonderful ingredient in this recipe our next oil is one that most people are not aware that is great for the skin and this is sesame oil sesame oil is rich in linoleic acid that give both antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties sesame oil is rich in antioxidants and they easily absorb in the skin nourish from deep inside and promote skin softness sesame oil also have vitamin a vitamin c and vitamin e which help to keep the skin strong and supple our next ingredient is lemon and I'm using lemon in this recipe for the vitamin C a lot of people don't know that lemon peel have more vitamin C than the juice itself and that is what we're gonna be using today the lemon peel which is gonna brighten the skin it's gonna just give the skin a boost of vitamin C now for this recipe I'm gonna be using a blender and I'm also gonna be using a grater so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna zest the lemon I'm using a grater to zest the lemon make sure to wash your lemon thoroughly to wash your lemon soak them in vinegar for about 10 to 15 minutes and then you just rinse with fresh water and then your lemon will be good okay so just zest your lemon and we're trying to get about a teaspoon of lemon zest And this should be good and this is about a teaspoon of lemon zest so I'm gonna blend about three to four tablespoons of rice this is about good and to our rice I'm gonna use my one teaspoon of lemon zest just drop it in the rice Now 
Now we're not gonna add any liquid to this. We're just gonna blend as is. Now while blending the rice, it might get a little lumpy, not to worry, just keep blending a little more. So here is the blended rice and lemon peel. And take a look at it. This is what it looks like. And now we're going to have the rest of the ingredient. So the first ingredient is the sesame oil. And we're using a half of a teaspoon of sesame oil. We're using one teaspoon of sweet almond oil. One teaspoon of avocado oil. And for our vitamin E oil, now my vitamin E oil is 28,000 IU. So just use your discretion. I'm using a full vial. And now I'm going to blend this together. You can choose to put this back in the blender, but because this is not a lot, I think the ingredient get lost in the blender. So I like to blend it slowly with my hands like I'm doing here. So it's gonna take a while, but just slowly mix it in. Now, I'm gonna be using a little bit of the aloe vera gel in this. It's optional, however, you can use at least a teaspoon of aloe vera gel. So I'm just gonna pour this in and I'm gonna continue blending. So just blend until it forms a serum consistency. Now here it is. This is your facial serum. And let's test it to see if we need to whip it up some more. Just a little bit on the ends like this. Wow, it actually feels very moisturizing. All right, you can leave this serum on the countertop for about two to three days. However, to preserve it longer, I suggest you keep it in the refrigerator for about 14 days or so. You can also choose to add some vegetable glycerin to the serum to preserve it even longer. Now, I'm gonna pour mine in a small container. And then I'm going to go over on the other side and I'm going to show you how to use this wonderful facial serum. Now, before you apply the serum, you want to make sure that your skin is clean. So you're going to wash your face the way you normally do by using your facial cleanser or your facial soap. Once your face is cleaned, then you're going to apply your facial toner. Let your facial toner dry and then you're going to move on to your facial serum. So you're going to just take a little bit of the facial serum, not a lot, a little goes a long way, and you're going to just rub it in your hands like I'm showing here, basically warming the serum. Once this is done, you're gonna apply it to your face. Now, you're not gonna rub the serum on the face, you are gonna just pat it, press it on the skin. So just press the serum on the skin like I'm showing you here. Press, 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 and it's safe to go under the eyes. Now, once you apply the serum to the skin, you're then gonna do a little bit of a facial massage. So for the forehead, starting with the forehead, you're just gonna Use your fingers up and down, just up and down on the forehead. You can also dip back in and get a little more of the facial serum on your hands. And yes, you can actually smell the sesame seed in this serum, but it's not very, very strong. Moving on to the cheekbones, you turn your hands like this, your fingers, grab the cheeks and just put it all the way to the hair temple. And all of these massages, you can choose to do them at least 10 times for best result and do them on a daily. Now, once the cheekbones are done, you're moving on to the sagging jawline. Dip back in your serum, um, warm the serum and move to the jawline. Just pull to the hair, 
pull to the hair, pull to the hair, and repeat at least 10 times. Do a little more if you have more time. And don't forget to go down on the neck and decollete area, apply the serum, and just work it on the neck and the decollete area. Just lifting the neck all the way up to the chin. Just lift, lift, lift. And once that is done, you wake your skin up and you're good to go. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, don't leave without giving it a thumbs up. Also share the video and your comments are always welcome. And if this was the first time watching, guess what? Look below, you're gonna see the word subscribe. This is actually in red. If you click on that, you will be subscribed. Also at the end of this video, if you click on my face in the circle, then you will be subscribed. And at the side of the word subscribe, there's a little bell. If you click on that, you will get a notification as soon as I upload a video basically right away so thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye bye